Welcome to another part of Building Graphic Basics. So, some people that I do work for like where we put these little temperature uh, gauges in there. So, for instance, we're going to go here. I'm going to grab this ORD, Control C, cancel out, Control here. And then for the ORD, I'm going to show this. So, where can I find this? Well, when you have your palette over here, there are multiple different things you can go look for right here in all your different modules. Some of the ones that we like to use that are already built in are the Baja, Baja UE. Um, here's our kit, PX, kit, some kit graphics, things like that. Some things that we can utilize as buttons and things like that. So, for instance, this right here is called a bar graph. So if we were to take this out and pull it out, here's what you get. Now, you can have it horizontal or vertical. So for here, we're going to go into the properties. We're going to show that our background is a light gray. We did a gradient to where as it's rising, obviously the red will start going more and more to the right. And our blue will show in our colder pictures. Um, and then there's also ways to add a line in here showing exactly where, where our temperature is. And we'll get into that a little bit later. But right now, our, hor our orientation is horizontal. We, we did was we made the min 50 and our max 90. So we can utilize this for a lot of different things. You can also utilize it showing your valve position. And not necessarily having a, um, a number down at the bottom, you can have a graph. And you don't have to use, um, you know, a particular like gradient. Uh, sometimes we utilize orange, different colors for different points to show what they want. What we like to do is we like to talk to the customer, find out what it is that they like, and then we just go and we build upon that. So, for instance, our scale is it's going to show a temperature every different 5 degrees. So like I said, I made this 50 to 90. Um, you could do it 0 to 100. You could do a scale of 10. Um, it just really depends on what you're utilizing the graph for. The text, so you can animate the text to where it will show the numbers. And then for our value, we did numeric to number. So let's say, for instance, we want to take this one. We'll do Control c We'll copy this whole ord and we're going to go here we're going to paste this ord here and there you go so you can actually even have it to where it's going to show what the what the value is um, not a big fan of that that's up to you on what you like to do um, I try to keep that out to be completely honest so let's say we want to change this to horizontal um, let's do our background just to have a little bit of fun, I guess. We'll do this light blue. We'll animate our, you can animate your background. Um, I don't suggest it. We could do gradient here, and then here's where it automatically comes in, and we can actually reverse the colors. So you just take this arrow, you move this arrow here, you take this arrow, and you move it over here. And then what you can do is, let's say you want the darker to be a little more, and then get that little gradient a little bit consistent, more like around the middle right here. So we'll click OK. Let's make our lettering white. There you go. We do not want this text. There you go. And as you can tell, with that light blue, it doesn't look good with that coloring in the background. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a comparison to see what's going on. And you can modify it however you like, whatever you want. Make it bigger, smaller. I would say never go above two, uh, two squares. I think that's a little, 
little pushing it a little little much. And you can do things where you have your temperature. So let's say for instance, let's go back to our my graphic folder and we have duck sensors. We'll look for an average and since we installed average and sensors, we'll drop an average and sensor on top. Like I said, I like to expand it, make it a little bit easier for me to align. And let's say this is outside air. So, so what we can do is you can actually do your outside air temperature and then you can do get another one of these. And depending upon what type of sensors you installed in, in your particular site, some sites have our, an outside air, a return, and then what they call a mixed air. So we can actually take this one, duplicate it, bring it here, and let's say there is a mixed air temperature sensor. Now everything's aligned, and we wanted to do maybe you could do this right here and then let's say we wanted to take a label let's say we made our own label and we're going to call this return air temp so sometimes some there's um, different options on what you can do where you could take this and then you take this here. And you make this the same size as everything and then we just do a control down one, two. Now we've had this little gra this little line chart. Sometimes it's a little too much. Sometimes it's, sometimes pe this is what's people, what people like. So let's say for instance, we want to do this right here, but a smaller version. We'll do reorder to bottom. And make everything fit. So you can make it fit a little bit tighter. You can live it, you can make it fit as loose as you want. Just depends on how you want to build it. Now, what I one thing I would suggest is the way that this works, when you're modifying the size of this pane, it's based on the lines. So let's say you need to go a little bit smaller. You could just do control up and then drop it down back to that line or control down and make it a little bit larger to where it's like one line larger. Then, now that we've done this, now we need a line. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Baja. We have shapes. Here's a line. We'll just drag it out. We'll fit it right here. Oh, sorry, I ran out of space on my mouse pad. Then we'll take this right here and we'll go down, up, over. Let's say we want that line to be a little bit thicker. So let's go ahead and make the pin stroke on it a two. And there's the real beginnings of a basic of how to build some things. Um, you can actually make your, um, your label, you can put a border on that. Make that to where maybe that one's got a black line outset. And then instead of doing a black solid, you could do an inset for this. And it'll be inset, which looks really good when, when you, once you have everything all together. Um, some people like to do the ridge look, um, which is right here for the AHU test page instruction. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to kind of give you guys the basics on how to start building building 
just the beginning and then you can modify it as you go how you want to go upon it. So that's another little step and we'll come back and we'll do another one.